Last year, I got a chance to watch the new Star Wars movie, which was fantastic. But one thing kept bugging me. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not. In this entire technically advanced world, I did not see a single AED anywhere, which was totally shocking. Almost as shocking as not knowing what an AED is, which you guys do know. But for those at home, an AED is an automated external defibrillator. It's the device used when your heart goes into cardiac arrest to shock it back into a normal rhythm. Uh, or as one of the guys I was teaching a class to referred to it as the shocky hearty box thing. So, <laughs> but I really can't blame the empire, since you know health and safety regulations aren't really their first order of business. Uh, though, even if we, I think worse than not having an AED would be if there was one there, but just no one knew where to find it. Um, these devices can drastically increase your chance of survival, almost like a tauntaun on Hoth. Um, <laughs> But I am pretty sure that that stormtrooper is going to be toast, regardless if we have an AED or not. Uh, since what happens is that chest plate is going to be quite hard to get off, and like that tauntaun, the AED has a very short window of time in which is highly effective. In this case, around basically about we've got to use it within the first 10 minutes. Uh, the Jedi, on the other hand, have no problems with their outfits. Those robes open straight up. You can place the pads right onto the chest, so upper right hand side of the chest, lower left. Wait for the unit to sort of determine if it's a shockable rhythm and get ready to shock. But the Jedi do have a problem; they have a head appendage issue, and so I can be totally clear, thinking I'm ready to go, but I'm accidentally touching a tentacle and inadvertently shocking myself. <laughs> so before you hit that button, make sure you are clear and everyone else is clear. Uh, going back to that uh, uh, to that stormtrooper, if I did get that chest plate off in time. Uh, what would you do if you suddenly found there was a Wookiee under there, or possibly an Ewok to Ewoks? <laughs> well, lucky for us, in the kit there's actually a razor, and we can use that to shave the chest on the upper right-hand side and the lower left. <laughs> Wookiees also have another problem; they have an accessory issue. So what we want to do is that we want to remove these. Anything between the two pads, we want to remove,、uh, since it can cause something called arcing. Uh, for those who know what arcing is, do you remember the emperor、uh, when he shoots electricity at the end of his fingers? That would be kind of like arcing.、Uh, another thing that oh, by the way, he creates that by wearing wool socks under his robes.、Uh, we can also get arcing if we have an extremely wet chest. The electricity travels across the surface instead of through the heart.、Uh, we can correct this with the immortal words of Douglas Adams: "Don't panic," which most of us have done today,、uh, and also always having a towel. So good words still go by. The metal bikini. Unfortunately, this is where panic sets in. Like the modern bra, we have to make sure we remove because this can cause severe、uh, severe arcing along with burns.、Uh, but unfortunately, this opens up an issue that's almost as controversial as talking about the prequels. <laughs> the mere mention of the word nipples and people get a little lunatic. It's hizzy.、Uh, by the way, that is not a nipple. That's a cupcake. So. <laughs> Uh, chances are, if you do have to use this, this is going to be on someone you know.、Uh, and remember, everyone has nipples except for Jabba, but <laughs> he does love cupcakes.、Uh, speaking about Jabba, if we do have to use an AED on him,、uh, remember pad placement's the same, even though he doesn't have nipples.、Uh, so it's going to be upper right hand side, lower left. The preferred method, if we we're going through, we're shocking, getting ready to go. After we've done the shock, one of the things we need to do is remember is to do compression.、Uh, the preferred method of compression is 30 compressions and two breaths、uh, in the center of the chest, between the nipples, pressing down at least two inches, no more than two and a half,、uh, at for at a rate of at least 100 beats a minute, no more than 120.、Uh, unfortunately, due to the size of Jabba's mouth and also what he puts in said mouth, we may not want to actually sort of. Uh, do the mouth-to-mouth -mouth part. So instead, we can do compression-only CPR. The way of remembering the compression-only part is we can actually use the Imperial March.、Uh, I would <laughs> sing it for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, that would be more something that an interrogation droid would do.、Uh, Yoda. Small little guy, like a baby. What we do is we basically treat him like a baby,、uh, in the sense that we're going to place one pad in the center of the chest and one in the back. If we place them both in the front,、uh, they can either be too close and cause severe arcing,、uh, so we want to avoid that.、Uh, 
Uh, hopefully, this helped to clarify and put some sort of light on some of the darker issues of using an AED in the Star Wars universe or any universe in total.、Uh, I'll leave you with one point. Remember, if you do find yourself dealing with a Wookiee, do not shave the entire Wookiee. This takes way too much time, and it only pisses them off. <laughs> Thank you very much.